And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. An NL West matchup on the show. It's the Los Angeles Dodgers and the Arizona Diamondbacks. And now, first pitch no. coming your way next. Okay, all set to go. And now the DH, Shohei Otani. The pitch. And that's off the inside edge. And we're underway here in September, the last month of the season. There's a strike. And now two and one. That one sizzling on its way through to the outfield. And aboard on the leadoff single. Here's Mookie now. And that's off the inside edge. Ball one. Otani gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Shohei on the go. Pitch in for a strike. For the second. And Mookie takes. Next offering is in for a strike. One out, base is empty. Swings through it for the K. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. That one finds the zone, and that is strike one. He's been known to jump all over the first pitch, so that seems like a missed opportunity right there. Two outs. And that one fouled off. The 0 2. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Two down, nobody on. And that's outside. Now 1 and 2. And another ball. Two out, space is empty. Here's the high heat past him. That's a strikeout. Back here at Chase Field. And here is Geraldo Perdomo. Line and pitch. That misses. And that's ball one. On its way to the corner. Hernandez makes the catch, and there's one goal. Randall Grinchick now. Grinchick. First pitch misses. Right through there for a strike. One down, base is empty. Out towards right center field. Betts settles underneath it. Makes the catch for the out. That's out number two. Here's Lourdes Gurriel Jr. Lourdes Gurriel. They say you win. All one's the count. Just Whoa, off man. the inside edge. The pitch. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Throw on to Freeman. And that is that. And we're back. We have the left fielder, Teoscar Hernandez. Back, back to work. Right through there for a strike. Ah. 
and it's one and one. And he deals. Just off the outside edge. Ball two. In the air, left field. Guriel balls it in, and there's one away. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Gavin Lux in the box now as he leaves that one up high. And a swing and a miss there. This guy's got such one a good one. sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing oh, stuff man. in the dirt. Just missed. Lifted in the air, right center field. Snags it for the second out. And up to the plate is Will Smith. Got it. Got it. The catcher, Will Smith. And that one a little below the knees. And that's ball one. And that's down and away. Next offering is in for a strike. That's a strike. And a pitch. Goes down looking. Bottom of the second. And here's the first baseman, Josh Bell. Bell in his eighth season, batting in the cleanup spot. And they traded for him earlier this year. And a big swing and a miss. I think he was sitting off speed there. Swings and sends a rocket to right. Playable Betts makes the grab, and there's one away. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there, nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. Jake McCarthy, the next to hit, takes ball one. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Hernandez makes the catch. And a couple of quick outs. And Eugenio Suarez up to him down. Inside just missed. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. That one the other way. And he pulls up on it, and that's a hit. Nice job of driving that Gotta pitch the that. other way on the right. Line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. This is Corbin oh, Carroll. Guy. That's outside, and it's 1-0. Fell off to a great start. He's really cruising out there on the mound. He's got a chance to get through these first two innings with under 20 pitches. That could set him up to go deep into this game. And here it comes. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. One ball, one strike. Swings through that one out in front that time. Gonna really need to hang in there with that front side against this left-handed breaking ball. Two outs. And that just misses. It's a good take. the ground right side and it goes just foul at the belt and finals waves at the bender for the strikeout back here in the desert out of the third inning and now Max Muncy the wind of the pitch Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. And that's in there at the knees. The pitch. On the ground. 
And that one finds its way through. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. Yeah, here comes Tommy Edmond. And there's the strike. Kicks and fires. There's a swing and a miss. No ball, two strikes. Ball one, one there. Pretty standard high 0-2 fastball right there. If you're smart, you'll look for something down in the zone, but not too far. Don't want to chase that breaking ball in the dirt. Righty to the plate. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And now one away. Miguel Rojas at the plate. That one finds the zone. It's 0-1. And yeah, the right hander deals. And that one's a little bit low. Ball one. Out. Yeah, there's a ball. Man at first, one away. Swings through that one for strike two. Two ball, two strike. And another ball. And there's ball four. He's making things difficult for himself right now out there on the mound, but you know his confidence should still be high enough to get out of this. But he's gonna have to buckle down right here. Otani in the box now. Take strike one. Well, in this situation with runners on, you've got to get ahead in the count so that you can dictate the rest of the at bat. Nice job right there. Runners at first and second with one gone. We're here in the top half of inning number three. And yeah, that's outside. Now two balls and a strike. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Swing and a miss. Two balls, two strikes. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Comes a 2 2. Swings and misses. Struck him out. He notches strikeout number 150 this season. So, first and second with two outs. Now, the number two hitter, Mookie Betts. And that one clips the corner. That was just paint on the first pitch fastball. Fastball for a strike. And a bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. And the righty deals. Three swing and a miss. And that is that. And welcome back to the ballpark. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. The batter now, Kevin Newman. No score. Kershaw back to work delivers. Oh, yeah. oh one's the count. And yeah, that skips in the dirt. Here's a one-one. Ground ball left side. That and that's out. just foul. One two now. This one in the air right field. Bet settles underneath it. Hauls it in for the out. And now the catcher comes up to him. Jose Herrera. That one misses. And that is ball one. 
And a good eye there. Tried to back door him with that slider right there, but just missed off the plate. Good pitch, though. That ball one misses, three. and that's ball three. And that one oh, off the inside right. edge. You walked him. That just came apart right Good there. Four-pitch walk, and the guy at the plate was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. Bounding ball here, rolls foul. And a pitch. Line drive, calls it in, and there's two away. That swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know it didn't lose a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. Ball one stands in but two away as he takes a ball. Hammered on a line to the left, base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second, two on and two out. Everything came together for him. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Yeah. What's in the cage? You're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. And it's Lourdes Goriel Jr. In the first pitch, misses for ball one. Swing to miss. You know, he can move the ball, ball around, ball, ball, right. add and subtract, get some weak contact at times. So you don't worry as much about him in this situation. Very capable of getting the ground ball and getting out of this little jam. Playable Pence makes the grab, and there's one away. And that's the third out. Back here at Chase Field, new inning getting started. And now the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. The pitch. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. You know, these Dodgers just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. So many of their outs have come from weak contact and pitches they're chasing outside of the strike zone. You can't do much of anything with those locations, and that's been true again today. In the dirt, and it's one and two. And as a pitcher, when the hitters are swinging at everything, you feel no need to challenge inside the zone. You just keep working the corners and expanding that strike zone and beyond, and they just keep eating right out of your hand. Freeman hits it in the air. Makes the grab on the run, and there's one down. And now Teoscar Hernandez fly to left his first time. A little out front there as he swings through. Next offering is down low. One down base is empty. Strike two. One ball, two strikes. And another ball. Fourth inning underway. No score. Swings and misses. Struck him out. And now it's Gavin Lux. Flied to right his first time. And a strike in there. Misses inside. One and one. The wide to kick the pitch. And another ball. Two down, nobody on. Top half of inning number four. That one fouled off. Two and two. Lifted in the air, out to left. Guriel handles the chance, and that'll do it. Bottom of the inning. Now here's the cleanup hitter for Arizona, Josh Bell. 
jump. This yeah. lefty gets to work. Pitch misses, and that's ball one. Well, these Diamondbacks just haven't produced as many competitive at-bats as I'd like to see in this one. I think things are happening a little quicker than this offense would like, and we see it in the numbers. They're hitting into a lot of outs early in the at-bat. Got the bat going too soon at strike two. Two straight. Got him swinging. He chased the changeup, and there's one down. Now, now up next for Arizona, Jake McCarthy. He's over one. And that is in for a strike, and it's 0-1. Bounce to the left side. Tosses to first. Already two gone here in the home floor. Eugenio Suarez is up to the plate now. And he's already singled in this game. And the slider just misses. Ball one, no strike. Off the mark there. Two and oh. Kicks and deals. And that's in the dirt. And now 3 0. And there's the automatic. Just doesn't seem to want to throw him a fastball. And a foul ball. All tied up. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. And that one hit to first. He handles it himself. And Arizona is set down one, two, three. We go to the top of the fifth, and here's the catcher, Will Smith. Will Smith. Fat back to work. Just missed. You know, these Dodgers did a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. They haven't produced a run yet, but the pitch count for the starter is starting to climb, so they're hoping that starts to pay off soon. Way out front for strike two. And I think they're in a good spot thanks to their pitching, but no one would be shocked if this offense strings something together to take the lead. That one off the bad part of the bat, just a lazy fly ball. Here comes Max Muncy. Now, that's a tough play for the infielder ranging back into the outfield. There's part of him that's saying, hey, where are you at, outfielder? Call me off. But he stayed focused and made a nice catch right there. In there, and it's 0-1. 0-1. Swing and a miss as he was out front. In the dirt. Now one and two. That's down and in. One down, base is empty. Still two and two after the foul ball. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. Two away. Tommy Edmond at the plate. He was a strikeout victim his first time. And that's in there for strike one. Edmond, 28 years old. And he was a sixth round draft pick back in 2016. Now fly ball to right center. Carroll moves towards it. Corrals it. And that is that. Back here in the He's desert. Right now, Corbin Carroll. To right here. And the pitch. Oh. And the slider just misses. You know, these D-backs need to bring up the quality of their bats and specifically their swings. They're trying to find ways to drive the ball with some authority, but it's just not happening for them so far. Zero extra base hits in the game, so it's been tough for him to get anything going. Kershaw deals. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. Sometimes you have to keep chipping away until you break through, but it's a lot easier to put runs on the board when you have guys in scoring position because they put themselves there. Kevin Newman stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Newman. 
bowl that time. Base is empty one away. Last half of inning number five. To the right side. He takes it on his own. All half of the fifth inning moving along. Two quick outs. Jose Herrera stands in now for the Diamondbacks. He's been going after these guys consistently, and as a result, he's been able to keep his pitch count low. Throwing the ball very well right now. All one's the count. And he deals. Out to center. Edmund in position. Makes the grab. And that will end the inning. Top six. The batter will be the shortstop. Miguel Rojas. And a pitch. To the right side. Newman. In plenty of time. The first leadoff man retired in the six. Here's Shohei Otani. Scoreless here, but now he's got to deal with a guy who's got some power. Got to be careful when you're talking about a hitter with this type of slug and these type of home run totals. And downstairs. Just missed. All tied up, and we're the top half of the sixth. And there's the strike. Called strike right there. Thank you. Outside, and that is ball four. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. No, Man at first with one gone. And next for L.A., Mookie Betts. There's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. Got it started a little too early. Strike one. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average. The tag gets him, and it's a double play to end the inning. Well, we go bottom six. And now the shortstop, Geraldo Perdomo. The pitch. That catches the top part of the zone. One one. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, Whoa, but down. they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Up the middle, and that chance handled. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. The and next is the Diamondbacks DH. Randall Gritchell, one for two. That's the third. Muncy tosses across the first, and that quickly two away. Here's Guriel. Swing a high fly ball down the right field line, and that should be extra bases. And that rolls into the corner. Betts quickly gets it back in. Runner holds it second, so another base hit to get us the first run of the game. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. And now the switch hitting first baseman, Josh Bell. And there's the strike. And it's second. That one catches the corner for a strike. The strategy of winning a ball game, when you can make that pitcher work a little more, expose himself by throwing pitches, that could be the key to winning perhaps later on. So a good job of extending this inning, getting a knock with two outs to bring the number four ball. Two strikes, Cal. The pitch. Wouldn't ball chase beat. that time. And he hits a ground ball right side. Tosses the first, third out, and that ends the frame. And 
And we're back. We go, we go to the top of the seventh. And here's the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. And the right hander back to work. Fastball for a strike. I really like how he's been attacking hitters early in at bats. He's told strikes on the first pitch to over 70% of the guys he's faced in this one. Nope, he held back. The 1 1. And a foul ball. On the ground to the left. Knocks it down. That leaves him without a throw, and the defense comes away with nothing. Go ahead, run on base. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. There's a strike. The go ahead run aboard at first. Nobody out. That one in there across the letters. Don't play situation here. He's been working up in the zone. Typically, you look for guys to get that ground ball. See if he can swing and miss. Now one away. So digging in, Gavin Lux. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. And the first offering is not close. Well, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. Swing and a miss. Two balls and a strike. Top of the zone for a called strike. Well, just about to hit that century mark. A hundred pitches in this game. And now it's filled up. Ball in this count. Runner not known for speed, but I think you got to put him in motion. Try to avoid a double play here, Boo. The batter now will be Will Smith. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. Count one and oh. Pitch out, but no action. Base hit. And that moves the go ahead run to scoring position with two gone. The third base hit, number so two on with two away. Max. Here's the third baseman, Max Muncy. Got to be careful with a slugger like this because he can turn it into a three run game in the blink of an eye. Right through there for a strike. Go ahead, run at second. Here, the top half of inning number seven. Next offering is downstairs. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Two on, two outs. It's a big chance to take the lead here late. And welcome back to the Gulf Stepping in, Jake McCarthy. Here comes a pitch. You can tell by their swings. This lineup is having trouble gauging speeds. Timing is everything in hitting, and right now they just don't have it. It's strike two. That front door slider is such a devastating pitch. You don't want to get beat by the inside fastball, so you cheat a little bit, and then by the time it gets there, it's out of the swing play. Betts brings it in. One down. Next to hit for Arizona, Eugenio Suarez. Fought off foul. And now the lefty. 
Sliced hard but foul. Base is empty one away here at the bottom of the seventh. Pitches downstairs. Yeah. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Corbin oh Carroll stands in now for the Diamondbacks. The other way. And that's a fair ball. Around first, heading for two. In with a double, and the go-ahead runs at second with two out. Man in scoring position with two away. Now it's the second baseman, Kevin Newman. Swing and a miss, and that's strike one. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. On the ground, out to short, Rojas. And we stay tied as the inning ends. Back here in the desert, here's the center fielder, Tommy Edmund. Back, back to work. Right down to shoot, going one. That one is upstairs. I got a ball, one strike. The one one. Right side, hard hit. And he takes it himself for the out. Miguel Rojas steps to the plate for the Dodgers. You want to be a great defense, you have to deliver consistently. It doesn't matter how many highlight real plays you make if you can't execute the small stuff just like we saw. And that's off the inside edge. And now it's even one and one. The shortstop takes the ball. The pitch. Line to left. Fair ball. Now it rolls down into the corner. Here's the throw. And he's into second base with one away as the go-ahead run. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there. So out of the pen for the Diamondbacks, A.J. Puck. And they felt it was time to bring on a left-handed reliever from the pen with the lefty hitter coming up. I think it's a good move. I know I never liked when opposing team did that to me. Back to the top of the lineup, Shohei Otani steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Not your prototypical leadoff guy. Gets on base, yes, but also some power. Hey. Swing and a miss as he was late. 0 oh 1. One out. The go ahead run is at second. Next oh pitch misses, and the count is 1 and 1. That one is absolutely belted. And it's a one hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. The run comes in to score from second. On the board first, it's one zip. Well done. Drives in the run. Yeah, Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite yeah, field yeah. gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. So many positives Whoa. that led to that knock. Betts in the box with one away as he takes ball one. One run across in the frame so far, and we're in the top of the eighth. Inside move to second, Otani back in. Turns and fires to Betts. Right through there for a strike. That one missed.
And it's second. Good eye right there. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Battling here as he fouls it away. Otani, the runner at second with one away. And a pitch. And that's ball four. Ball, ball, ball. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. So one out with two aboard. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. One for three. First pitch doesn't find the zone. All eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. And here it comes. And fouled off. Runners at first and second with one gone. And another ball with a layoff that pitch down. Got it swinging. It's a strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Teoscar Hernandez steps to the plate for the Dodgers. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a flyout. Fouled off. He was late. Pitch and ball, ball one. One ball, one strike. And ball. that one missing low. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. And that one fouled off. Two outs, couple of base runners at first and second. And that one ripped to left. Briel handles the chance. And Hernandez is out. And that's the third out. Back here at Chase Field, bottom of the eighth. And now the switch it and catcher, Jose Herrera. The lefty fires. Pitches in for a strike. And it's 0-1. Kershaw. Into his eighth inning of work, Singy. He's been good. Yeah, he's the type of guy that gets better as he gets deeper into the ball game. If you're going to get to him, you get to him early. They didn't do that today. We'll see what happens as this finishes. Pitch misses there. And the count one and two. Pitch count in great shape. It seems you might have a chance to finish it. That one just misses. Next one off the plate inside. And that's ball three. On a line. Squeezes it. And there's one away. Man, that's so frustrating. You hit the ball hard. You understand the situation. You want to get on base and try to score that tying run. But no reward right there. And just going to have to sit on it. Pertain in the box now. Take strike one. Ball off foul. Swing and a line drive, slicing into right field. Balls, but it falls. Could be extra bases. They're still chasing it as he rounds second. In with a one-out triple as that puts the tying run at third. Always feels amazing getting a job done. Yeah. Joe yeah. Kelly gets the ball now. He's averaging more than one hit allowed per inning pitch this season, and that's not where you want to be at all. So we'll see how he does here. Next up for the Diamondbacks, Randall Gritchick. That nope. misses the zone, and that's ball one. Here's a sack fly situation, and he's got to make sure he gets the ball out over the plate and get those arms extended. They're trying to crowd him with the infield in. This would be a big pickoff if he can push a run across. At the belt and fires. 
High fly ball out towards left field. Fernandez going back on this one. And he brings it into the warning track. Runner tags for third. He'll score on the sack fly. It's one more. Lourdes Gurriel Jr. will hit next. And he blows that one by him at 100. Oh, one, Kelly, yeah. 35 years old, and he was a third-round pick back in 2009. Hey. Swing and a miss. Oh, Quickly in an 0-2 count, you've got to figure out a way to shorten your path to the baseball. Put it in play somewhere, then you got a chance. Hey. And down on strikes, and that is the inning. We're back. It's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Kevin Ginkle. He's having a ton of success facing left-handed hitters this season, so this seems like a smart move to turn to him with the lefty of the plate. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Gavin Lux. Over three with two flyouts and a strikeout. And a pitch. That one ripped. In safely with a leadoff double. Go ahead runs in scoring position. He was all over that one. Now a lot riding on this next at bat now as they look to take the lead at a critical point this one. Next to hit, Will Smith. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. Go ahead run in scoring position. Nobody out. That misses the zone, and it's one and one. And that one just missed off the outside edge. Back-to-back -back breaking pitches away, you get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher is afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence level is raised right here. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. Man at second. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Line drive. That's a base hit. Lux. Rounds third. Headed for the plate. Well, he comes through. Clutch with the RBI single. That was big. Didn't try to do too much with it. Just a really controlled, simple swing. We don't see a whole lot of that these days with hitters trying to launch and hit home runs. But... Sometimes you got to shorten up just like that. Muncie stands in now and watches strike one. The 0 1. Hey. He fires in a fastball at 95. Well, he's got ahead with two pitches down in the zone. He has plenty of options right here. He can go up, he can go away. Oh, that got him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. Do you uh, have any memorable hit by pitches yourself? Maybe high school, college? No, but I almost did get decapitated by a foul ball at Old Tiger Stadium. Edmund in the box now. No balls and a strike. Up and in. One and one. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. Runners on the move. There's a swing and a drive. Carroll raging back towards the wall. And caught on the warning track. That's just a really nice catch on the run right there. He saved extra bases for sure. If the pitcher's his friend, he'll give him a second to catch his breath before he's ready to deal the next pitch. Down the left field line. Should be extra bases. Around third. He'll score, and they lead by two. In safely with a double, his second of the day. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. A new pitcher in the game, Joe Mantiply. And never an easy situation coming in with runners at second and third. He's got a base to work with, so he doesn't have to be perfect, but he does have to make some quality pitches. The Dodgers trying to break this one open here at the top of the ninth. 
check swing. He went too far, and it's a strike. Don't be surprised to ball on the ground to the corners if they come home with the baseball instead of going to first base. Left hand batter waits, stays alive. Next offering is down low. the third run of the inning and this team is doing a nice job of executing at the plate right now. Towards first. He takes it himself to the bag and that'll do it. We're back and on the mound is the closer Perry Pine. A chance at his first save of the year. Here's Josh Bell. The wind of the pitch. And there's a foul ball. Swing and a foul. Pushed off to the right. And that will get out of play. Missed with a changeup, and the count is one and two. This to third. Sends it to first. One out, bottom of the ninth. He's two outs away. Jake McCarthy getting ready to hit. 0 for three with two flyouts and a ground out. There's a strike. It's been tough for the offense so far, but you can't get frustrated. You got to find a way to shake it off. Go up there and relax. That's the only way you're going to be able to put runs up on the board. Kicks and fires. That one lifted to left. Took the extra bases. Throws to second. The tag, and they cut him down, going for two. So it's their last chance in this one. A. Eugenio Suarez stands in now for the Diamondbacks. One there. Well, as good as things can be, it can be a tough day at the office, even for the skippers. Seeing the oh, offense right just there. sputter, not able to get anything going. And now it's even up. The D backs <laughs> down to their final strike. Two down, nobody on. Here in the last half of inning number nine. the ground and foul ball also really good at bat what I like about this guy his bat stays in the zone for a long time gives him the ability on the ground to third and this should do it throw to first ball game and the Dodgers claim the win here behind some great pitching and defense his first career save deserves to be on display at his house. I mean, it's kind of like when a restaurant frames his first dollar bill somewhere on a wall. You just can't forget your first save. 